What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we took on some shrines in the Ridgeland region, then came here to Central Hyrule and did the same thing. In this video, well, we're going to recover two more of Link's missing memories and take on some more shrines here in Central Hyrule. Now, we're going to start by getting the next memory, but the thing is, the next memory is inside Hyrule Castle, so getting to it is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, let's actually start by swapping off to our good gear, that way, you know, we're a little more equipped to handle the rough enemies ahead of us. But, um... I suppose I could teleport to the shrine that we completed way back when we picked up the Hylian Shield. But that's actually on the opposite side of the castle and nowhere near close to the memory that I want to pick up. So, my goal is kind of to sneak in, grab the memory, and sneak out. And honestly, I think the best way to do that is by going right through the front door, which seems counterintuitive, but it might just be the quickest option. I think no matter what, I'm probably going to have to fight this guy. Um, I can try and sneak past him, but really, there's probably no point. I probably should just fight him. Hey, little buddy, how you doing? Yeah, there's a fountain there. Kind of stinks that you can't climb over it. How did he know that I was here? That's what I want to know. And Ah, oh, crap. I thought I could maybe run by him, but that didn't work. Well, it's a good thing that our Master Sword did recharge because at least it'll make getting through this section a little bit easier since, well, I can foresee us having to fight quite a few different types of Guardians as we make our way towards this next memory. Anyways, let's just finish this guy off real quick. Oh, he's only got 12 HP left. There you go. See you later, buddy. On the bright side, at least, like, we will get more Ancient Materials, so I suppose... That could help us, like, upgrade our armor later on. I mean, I could use my, you know, Ancient Guardian armor set, but, uh, even with the Guardian Resist effect that that armor does give me, I think my overall defense would be worse, which is why I'm just going to stick with this setup for now. So, here's the issue, right? This entire area is just surrounded by Malice. So, if you want to, like, make your way through the Malice maze, so to speak, you're going to want to look for giant, like, pillars of malice, similar to this section over here. And inside, you should be able to find an eye that you can shoot with an arrow and uh, dispel a little bit of the malice. It's very similar to the internals of the divine beasts. I mean, you could just, like, walk or climb over the malice, but you probably will take some damage in the process. So if you don't want to do that, yeah, look for the eyes or find some other way around the malice. I'm sure you can get creative. Anyways, let's take care of this guardian real quick. Looks like it's actually missing a couple of its limbs already, so someone must have uh, done a number to this guy like years ago. Maybe it was Link perchance. Who actually knows? Regardless, we're going to finish what they started and uh, just completely destroy this guy. There we go. Now that he's gone, though, let me just collect all these ancient materials and... We actually are pretty close to the entrance of Hyrule Castle. I would say we're going to sneak right inside, but it's less sneaking and more just like going through the main entrance. Um, oh hey, there's an eye. And apparently it doesn't want to die, so whatever. I'm already past that section of Malice, so doesn't even matter. Now, our last challenge to getting inside the castle is going to be one final Guardian Drone, so... It's not too hard to sneak past this guy. He just like flies in a circle around the entrance gate. So really all you want to do, hang back for a little bit, wait until he flies by you, and then you can just sort of run right underneath him. It's really not that challenging. I don't think I've ever actually showed how you get into Hyrule Castle normally. So yeah, you just use Magnesis, pull back the doors, and uh, that's really all there is to it. Like now we are officially in... Hyrule Castle. Yeah, not too hard. I think on the Wii U version of the game there is a loading screen, but um, that is not present on the Switch version. Anyways, let's just use Daruk's protection to get rid of this guy. I think, yeah, it should kill him in one hit because he's sort of stuck in the ground. And oh, hey, buddy. How you doing up there? You want to just uh, 
kill yourself with Daruk's protection, that's fine by me. Alright. So yeah, those are like the two guardians that probably will get you the first time you go in here. So getting through the castle can be kind of challenging, but um... We're sort of going to take a quicker method, if you will, just to go directly to the memory. So, let's grab our Zora armor real quick, because there's a waterfall here. I'm not sure if the game, like, intended you to be able to do this, because that current that is sort of right at the base of the waterfall is very quick. So, if you're not fast enough pressing A to swim up that waterfall, chances are you won't make it. But, um, if you do it correctly, you can sort of skip over a couple of things here and there. Uh, I believe the memory is in this direction. It's sort of high up. It's actually close to the end of Hyrule Castle where you would go to fight the final boss. So we're going to be careful not to go to those areas because the last thing I want to do right now is trigger the final boss. Especially since there's still so much left to do in this game. Like, we have to complete all the other shrines. And then, of course, there is the final divine beast. Like... It really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to go and take on the final boss without completing the final Divine Beast. Anyways, though, yeah, this is a new type of Guardian. We have not seen this one before. As far as I know, they only exist inside Hyrule Castle. Um, they're sort of weird, like, turret slash century Guardians. Really, they're just like another form of the embedded Guardians. The only difference, I think, is how they look and uh, how much HP they have. So I think... The Embedded Guardians, no matter what, they have like 500 HP, which makes them kind of weak. Whereas those turret guardians have like, I want to say, 1500 HP. I know I do have the Champion's Tunic and I can see the HP, it's just that I wasn't really paying attention back there. So, I think that's how much HP they do have. But, um, really that's the only difference. We should actually be getting pretty close to the next memory. And yeah, they do have 1500 HP, so I was right. Um, let's just take care of this guy real quick because I'm pretty sure we're about where we need to be. It's actually a little bit weird for me right now because this is a slightly different route than I normally take through Hyrule Castle. So, figuring out exactly where I am is a little bit challenging. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping track of, like, where I need to be. So, give me all these ancient materials and, um... Yeah, okay, now I know we're going the right way, because as soon as we finish going up all of these stairs, well, guess what? We are now inside Princess Zelda's room, and for whatever reason, there's like a giant moblin up here. But, um, yeah, it's kind of cool that, like, you can go inside, see the castle, and, uh, you know, hang out in Zelda's room, and I will take that edge of duality. Also, on, like, the back wall, you can usually find some pretty good weapons, like, for instance, up here, it looks like we're gonna get ourselves a very good bow, the Royal Guards bow. 50 damage, man! That's like an amazing bow. Um, there is some stuff that we can do in Zelda's room. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna save it until we go through Hyrule Castle proper. For now, though, as long as we just uh, head out here, we can find the next memory. We're at a point now where we can actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. And should Ganon never show itself again, we'll be well positioned to defend ourselves. What are you doing out here, Zelda? I was assessing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future. 
and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. <sighs> Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. Uh, I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the goddess- And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope... My hope is that you... That you allow me to contribute here, in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. And command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves. That you are the heir to a throne of nothing. Nothing but failure. <sighs> it is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. All right, now let's move real quick as to not get caught. And now we're in Zelda study. There's more stuff to see here as well, but we'll come back later, I promise. For now, let's leave and go back to shrine hunting. That memory is rather interesting, though. You get to see some more character development from both the King of Hyrule and Zelda herself. On one hand, yeah, you could say the king is being a giant jerk to Zelda since, you know, she is his daughter. But, like, on the other hand... There is this sort of impending threat to the entire Kingdom of Hyrule, and the key to survival is the sealing power which Zelda needs to unlock, so I can kind of understand where he's coming from, but that amount of pressure and responsibility is a lot for one person, and you can sort of see how it affects Zelda, and while it's not exactly an excuse for the way that she treated Link earlier on, it does at least potentially explain why that is. You end up in a way feeling kind of bad for Zelda because it's not like she isn't trying her hardest to awaken that power. Since it hasn't though, I guess as a way to cope, she's sort of been learning about the Guardians and making sure Hyrule at least has some amount of protection against the Calamity. So I think it's safe to say she is serious about her duty to the people of Hyrule. But at the same time, it's a shame that, like, no one else sees it that way. And even the people are gossiping and bad-mouthing her. So, you do kind of sympathize with her character just a little bit. And, um, that is one of the cutscenes that sort of changed my perspective on Zelda once I actually did see it. That being said, though, um, the next memory that we're going to get is actually back in the Akala region. So... We're going to take on two more shrines here in Central Hyrule first, then we'll make our way over to where that memory is. Thing is, I actually think there is a third shrine here in Central Hyrule that um, I still have yet to complete. Basically, I've been looking over my map like and scrutinizing every single detail and um, finding like more and more shrines that I thought I already completed. That turns out I didn't, so... Yeah, either I can't count or I'm just really bad at like reading maps either one basically So thing is like most of the shrines that um I am I guess missing So to speak are in like regions that um we sort of just blew past When we originally found them like central Hyrule We really did not spend a whole lot of time here at all and then Ridgeland which obviously I sort of just blew past and went directly to Rito village so it's understandable why I missed these shrines. 
Anyways, uh, the current's like really, really strong here. So while you could probably swim across it, I actually like to use these metallic crates to sort of bridge the gap. Um, even if you do sort of put them around the shore, sometimes the current can just push them along. So be a little bit careful when using those. But generally speaking, yeah, you can cross that river very safely by using the crates. Um, yeah, the next shrine is sort of up and around here where those uh, spiky thorns are, but to make it a little bit easier on myself, let's actually go to the top of this area and uh, glide back towards those uh, thorns because what I want to do is uh, use one singular bomb arrow to blow up that cracked section of rock and also light all those thorns on fire. So that should clear pretty much everything for us right away. And whoa, little bit of lag there on the game's end. But uh, yeah, surprisingly enough, like since the few updates that Nintendo has done to the game, um, frame drops and stuff like that normally uh, are very infrequent now, which is really, really awesome. Like I'm glad Nintendo got around to patching that it's a shame they didn't do that for the game's release, but um, I'm glad we got it eventually. Certainly though, there are a couple of areas in the game still that uh, cause massive, massive frame drops or don't have a steady 30 FPS, like Korok Forest still is a pretty problematic area, but um, it is a lot better than it used to be for sure. Alright, so this is another minor test of strength. Um, let's actually... Hmm, yeah, I guess I can use the Edge of Duality, considering I just got it. Um, I was trying to think, like, what other weapons that I should use or potentially get rid of, but it's only a minor test anyway, so chances are, like, we'll end up killing this guy before any of our weapons break, because, yeah, look at that, man. He has less than 400 HP, already down to 25. Holy crap, that must have been, like, the fastest I've ever done um, any of these combat shrines. I know it was like a minor one, but still. It was like two and a half seconds. Holy crap. Alright, so there we go. That was pretty straightforward and easy. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's, uh, something good. Alright, and we got ourselves a night shield. I mean, not terrible. We have the Hylian shield, though, so it's like the best shield in the game. And I'm pretty sure we have, like, four other night shields in our inventory so yeah not exactly thrilled about that one but um now that we're done with this shrine i suppose we can move on to the next one which is kind of in like a weird location but um getting to it shouldn't be that tough although it's not really particularly close to like any other shrines so there will be some amount of travel involved but like I said, shouldn't take us too long. Um, the other shrine that is here in Central Hyrule is sort of down near the Great Plateau region, so yeah, we'll just like pick that one up when we go back towards the Gerudo region. For now, I guess we'll teleport over to this shrine. Like that one in the Elden region's a little bit closer. But there's that giant sort of river in between them, so I feel like going here is probably the smarter choice. I suppose in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, but, um... Yeah, I'm going with my gut feeling on this one, and hopefully traveling from here will be a little bit easier. And dude, I gotta say, I really wish I did not have a stuffy nose. Like, I've had a stuffed nose and sinuses, really, for the past who knows how many videos so I apologize that I've sounded like a nasally mess for probably like a week plus at this point but you know what they say the show must go on but um honestly that is like the most annoying part about doing commentary because like all that just snot I guess gets built up in your nose while you're talking and then oh man it is not a pleasant feeling let me tell you that much um I've gone through like two entire boxes of tissues already now at this point, which is insane, man. Like, that's a ton of freaking tissues. I don't even know where it's coming from. How is my body producing this much mucus, dude? Ah, oh, man. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Um, 
I guess I am feeling slightly better, but I mean, it's minimal every day that I am getting slightly better, and I'm pretty sure it's only because I'm on the antibiotics, so yeah, but we'll see what happens. I've got like probably five or six days left, and then hopefully at that point, I'll be better. I'm crossing my fingers, but um, you know, it's been a long journey thus far, and uh, I've said that who knows how many times, so I don't even know if I really believe it anymore at this point. And I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about being sick and tired, but, I mean, hey, you know, it's really like the only important thing or anything that's really happened in my life in like the past, like, month and a half, so... It's the only thing I can really talk about during like these low times where we're just traveling from place to place. I really wish I did have more interesting things to say because, trust me, I'm equally as annoyed about talking about being sick as you guys are probably listening to it, but um... Yeah, really, otherwise I would have like nothing else to say, although I'm sure there are some people out there who are like, Good, he has nothing else to say, maybe he'll shut up for once and let us actually listen to the game. You know, I still get comments like that to this day, even though, like, for the past, I don't know, year and a half, the very first line in the description of all my videos is that, uh, this is a 100% commentated playthrough. So you would think people would understand that I'm gonna be talking throughout the entire video for the most part, but, eh, uh, whatever. I digress. Here's the shrine that we've desperately been trying to get to, so... Let's see what's inside. I actually think this one might be another combat shrine. I don't remember, but I guess we're about to find out. I probably should just like start changing um, the first couple lines of my description because I'm sure having it say that um, this is a commentated 100% playthrough really isn't helping my videos in the um, search results, but... I like to do that for people who actually do read the description. Yeah, this is a modest test of strength. Alright, this one's gonna be a little bit tougher than the one that we just did, but, um, I'm sure we can get through here equally as easily. So, um, yeah, let's just keep using the Edge of Duality because this guy has 1500 HP, so probably a good idea. Why did I let go of my spin attack? Like, dude, I don't know how I keep doing that. Like. For whatever reason, my brain is stupid because it'll see me, like, doing the spin attack, right? And then it thinks to itself, oh, you know, you don't have to hold the spin attack button in any other Zelda game, so of course it's the same here. You can go ahead and let go, but uh, obviously that's not the case. And it's weird, too, because this is the only Zelda game I've been playing. And, oh, man, this is greedy. Get out of here. Oh, that was a bad idea. But, um... Yeah, this is like the only Zelda game I've been playing for the past two months, so I don't know how I can possibly, like, mix up the controls still, but I do it for whatever reason. Alright, well, there goes the Edge of Duality. Um, he only has like 100 HP left, so yeah, our Guardian Sword should be able to finish this guy off, no problem. There we go, and I will definitely take that Battle Axe, my friend. I'm glad that you actually had one, because it's been a while since I sort of found one of these, and I've missed them so, so much. Like, I love the Guardian Battle Axes. They are some of my favorite weapons. I should actually consider going back to the Akala Tech Lab and buying a few of the Guardian weapons there, because, to be honest, I've never actually used them, and apparently they are pretty good, so I might do that in one of the future videos. Oh, wow, a Frost Spear? Okay, well, it's a good thing my inventory is full because I didn't actually want that anyways. Like, I was just gonna toss it right on the ground. But, um, that saves me the time, I guess. Cool, so we are finally done with this shrine. Um, like I said, there is one more in Central Hyrule, but we'll grab that on our way back to the Gerudo region for now. I actually want to make my way back to the Akala region and, uh, get ourselves the next missing memory, which is conveniently enough located right next to a shrine that we completed a while ago. It's inside the Spring of Power, I want to say is what it's called. So, yeah, we'll just go there, trade in our spirit orbs, which by the way, holy crud, oh man, I'm really, really tempted to go and do that final shrine here in Central Hyrule, but um, 
If I do that, I don't think I'm gonna have time to go and get the next memory, but, uh, yeah, right now we are on our 99th shrine, and we have 11 spirit orbs, so if I do that next shrine, not only would that be our 100th shrine, but, uh, it would give us a 12th spirit orb, meaning that we could do, like, three upgrades, because, you know, since we are going to where this goddess statue is, we might as well trade in, uh, the eight spirit orbs that we can trade in. By the way, too, like, after we get this next memory, I believe there's only three more memories, so... Yeah, we're getting pretty much to the end of that quest, although... I don't think we'll finish it up until after the next Divine Beast, because, um... There's sort of a conclusion to that quest that ties directly into going to the final area of the game, so it makes sense to wait until after the Divine Beast to sort of get to the end of that quest. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go with, um, two more heart containers, and actually, if I do the math real quick, um, probably can actually get one more stamina vessel, I think, because, um, I have technically six more upgrades, and, um, I do get, like, another heart from uh, the next Divine Beast, so yeah, I think I can actually get one more Stamina Vest, so I might consider doing that in the future. For now, though, what do you say we pick up this next memory? I'm seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them, the voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? See, you do end up sort of feeling bad for Zelda. Like, this whole entire situation, it's not exactly her fault, and... She's under an immense amount of stress and just pressure to get this ceiling power to save the entire world, almost. Like, she's as much of a heroine as Link is the hero in this timeline, so... It's kind of crazy to really think about. Anyways, though, you know what? I think that's sort of where we're going to end off this video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, well, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.